Okay, so in this question, we're given the probability distribution for y and the cumulative distribution of y. It's given by this capital F, and we've got to find out what a, b, c, and d are. So how do we do this? Well, first of all, we've got to understand what the cumulative distribution actually represents, this capital F. And we should know that it really represents, if we just write f of y, it represents the probability that y is, a random variable y is less than or equal to any observed value y. And so we can use this to get a, for instance. So if we're talking about finding a, then we know that f of 1 represents the probability of y being less than or equal to 1. But there's no other values less than 1 apart from 1 itself. So this has got to be equal to the probability of y equaling 1. And we can see that's 0 0.1. And the probability of y equaling 1 is a. So therefore we can see that a must be equal to 0 0.1. Right, OK, we've got A. Now let's go on to B. For B, how are we going to get B? Well, we use F of 2 now. F of 2 represents the probability of Y being less than or equal to 2. And we can see that that's 0 0.5. So in other words, A plus B must total 0 0.5. We already know A, A is 0 0.1, so therefore 0 0.1 plus the B must equal 0 0.5. And obviously if we take 0 0.1 from both sides, therefore we have that B equals 0 0.4. Okay, we've got that. Let's see if we can go on now and work out what C is. So for C, how are we going to do that? Well, we know that the sum of all these probabilities should total 1. We know A and B, and we've got the point 3 here, so it should be OK to work out C. So to get C, it's going to be 1 minus the sum of A, B, and the 0 0.3. Well, A is 0 0.1, B is 0 0.4, and C, we can see, sorry, not C, I should say the 3, is 0 0.3. So we can then work this out, 1 minus 0.8, that gives us 0 0.2 for C. And finally, we've got to get D. So for D, how are we going to do that? Well, for D, this is going to be F of 3. So D equals F of 3. And that is the sum of all the probabilities of y being less than or equal to 3. So it's going to be equal to a plus b plus the 0 0.3. So we've got that a is 0 0.1, b is 0 0.4, and the 3 is the 0 0.3. So if we add that up, we've got 0 0.8. And there you have it, okay? A, B, C, and D, okay?